So you have a Roku streaming stick or streaming stick plus and you have an issue where you get like a blinking or flashing black screen. Maybe it happens when you're on the uh, home screen here or maybe it happens to just a Netflix app or maybe it happens to several apps or maybe it happens to all the apps. It doesn't matter. I'm going to give you guys a bunch of easy solutions to get you up and running right now. So first thing we're going to try here is to make sure that your auto refresh rate is off. Okay, so go ahead and grab your remote, go to the home screen, click on the home button. Now we want to go down to settings. Now move over to the right. And then from here, we're going to go all the way down to system. System, move over to the right. And now we're going to go all the way down to advanced system settings. Right there. Now move over to the right. And then we want to go down to advanced display settings right here. Now move over to the right. And then let's move over to the right. You can see I have mine on. Go ahead, if you have it on, make sure you turn it off. Turn it off and then go ahead and test out your uh, streaming stick. See if you no longer have a black screen. If you still have a black screen, we're gonna to go to the uh, next possible solution. Now the next possible solution is right here under advanced um, display settings. What you wanna do is go down to, oops, go back, go down to HDR sam subsampling and then go ahead and move over to the right. And what you guys wanna do, like wherever you have it checked, Go ahead and go to a different one. Mine's at um, four and then uh, two, two. Let me just go to four, two, oh. Try that and then go ahead and, oh, screen looks good. And then go ahead and see if your streaming stick is working correctly, okay? If there's no black screen. If you still have a black screen, we're gonna go to the next possible solution. So next thing what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and restart your uh, streaming stick using a special key combination on the remote, okay? So it's very simple. So watch very closely. The combination is this. You see the home button up here, home button five times, one, two, three, four, five, up once, rewind twice, fast forward twice, let's do it together, ready? Home button five times, one, two, three, four, five, up once, rewind twice, fast forward twice. And now your, your screen's gonna act kind of funny, it's gonna be frozen to the screen for about 10 seconds, and it's gonna go ahead and restart, okay? Once it's back, um, uh, back up, Go ahead and test out your streaming stick and hopefully you're up and running. You still have a um, flashing black screen. We're going to go to the next possible solution. All right, so next thing what we want to do is we want to change the picture settings and make sure it's on energy saver or low power. And this is the settings on the TV, okay? It's not the settings on your Roku uh, streaming stick. It's actually on your TV, okay? Now my TV here, this is a Philips Android TV. Um, what I want to do is go to settings. So for me, let me just click on my home button here. I'm gonna have to go into the TV settings, not the Roku settings, okay? So for me, I'm gonna go to settings here. Settings, and then for me, I go to device preferences, depending on your brand and model. I mean, you guys will have to go a different area in the settings, but mine is under here, and I'm gonna go down to picture right here. Let me click on okay. Now you can see my picture style, or maybe it says yours might be like picture mode or picture settings, but my picture style, it says movie up there. You can see movie. Let me go ahead and click on that. And then what I'm gonna do is go to energy saving, okay? On my other TV models, it was uh, it said low power. But anyway, energy saving on this one or go to low power and then from here, go ahead and test out your Roku streaming stick. And hopefully you guys are up and running. If you're still down, you still have a flashing black screen, then we're gonna to go to the next possible solution. All right, so the next thing we're gonna try here is make sure your TV's on. It doesn't matter if you're on the uh, Roku homepage or not, okay? Just have the TV on, and then wherever it's plugged into, pull the plug just like this. Wait 20 seconds, after 20 seconds, go ahead and plug it back in. Turn the TV back on, fire up your Roku streaming stick, and see if you no longer have a flashing black screen. If you still do, we're gonna to go to the next solution. All right, so for the next possible solution, let me just go ahead and pull out my stick here, and I want you to go ahead and look at this really fast. Now the thing is, with your stick here, Okay, if you have it plugged in, the USB part is plugged into the back of your TV to give it power, don't do that, okay? Go ahead and use the other extension, the, uh, the wall socket that they give you, like this here, okay? And then plug the power USB into, into here, and then plug your um, wall adapter into a wall socket. And then plug in uh, back your, um, your Roku streaming stick 
and then see if you no longer have a black screen. If you still do, we're going to go to the next possible option. All right, so the next possible fix is possible that it's an issue with your HDMI port wherever your Roku streaming stick is plugged into, okay? So what I want you to do now is wherever your H wherever it's plugged into the HDMI port, I want you to pull it out and I want you to put it in a different HDMI port and then fire up your Roku streaming stick and then see if you are up and running, if you no longer have a, a blinking black screen. If you still do, we're gonna to go to the next solution. So next thing that we're gonna try here is we're gonna do a, a system restart simply by going through the settings, okay? So first thing is go ahead and go back to your home screen, click on the uh, home button, then we're gonna go down to settings, now move over to the right, and then from here we're gonna go all the way down to system, right here, now go ahead and move over to the right, and then we're gonna go down to where it says system restart, okay? And move over to the right one more, and then go ahead and restart it. Once it's booted back up, go ahead and fire up your uh, Roku streaming stick and see if you are up and running. If you're still down, we're going to go to the next solution. Next thing we're going to try here is we're going to see if you have a possible software system update. Okay, so again, home screen, go all the way down to settings, move over to the right, and then we're going to go all the way down to system, right there, move over to the right, and then we're going to go down till you see system update right there. Simply go ahead and click on OK on the remotes and do a simple check here. I just I just checked mine um, like earlier yesterday, but mine's up to date. However, if you have one that's available, download, install it, and then check back with your Roku um, stick and see if you're up and running. If you're still down, we're going to go to the next possible solution. Now the last thing I have for you is to try a factory reset. If you do a factory reset, it's going to reset your entire Roku streaming stick. And once it's done with the factory reset, it'll be as if you bought it brand new. And you have to start off with the beginning of the setup, choose your language, your Wi-Fi, password, and so on. So there's two ways to do a factory reset. We can go through the settings, or we can actually, there's actually a reset button on the uh, Roku stick itself. But we'll just go through the settings here. So go ahead and click on the uh, home button. Then you want to go down to settings then you want to move over to the right then we're going to go down to system right there move over to the right and now we're going to go to advanced system advanced system settings right there go ahead and move over to the right it's factory reset right there and now you have your own four digit code so basically you just come over here and you input whatever code that is showing you like mine's 20 28 do that go on okay click on okay Give it about one or two minutes, and once it's booted back up, you'll be at the very beginning uh, where you have to, um, uh, beginning of the setup process, so you have to choose your language and go through that whole entire process. Hopefully after that, you're up and running. Now, if you still have an issue, even after doing a um, factory reset, what I want you to do is start from the very beginning and try every single step again, okay? Well, let me know which step worked for you, and give me a thumbs up if it worked for you. If it didn't work for you, give me a thumbs down. I'm gonna say that we should have at least a 70% thumbs up, maybe 80%, all right? Good luck, guys.